Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally updating you on my 2022 project pan. Now, I originally, I filmed the intro of this and I put it up and then I think I actually filmed cutaways for my first update but I didn't have time to film the kind of body of it so I don't think I ever did anything with it. Um, and it's now like six months later, so yeah. Basically, I had kind of themed this project around a holiday I was meant to be going on and due to various factors we are now not going on that holiday um, so I kind of lost motivation with it but ultimately I still want to hit the goals on these products. My makeup rehab goal this year is quantity driven. I want to finish up 300 products within a year so I think like getting myself kind of back into the swing of project panning is a good way to, to make steps towards that and hopefully some of these products will still contribute to that 300 end goal number before the end of the year. So I thought let's rejuvenate this, bring it back to life, let's reignite the spark on my 2022 project pan. So although this is update number one, there might be sort of two updates worth of cutaways and yeah, they're obviously not at great time intervals, but hopefully I will now get back into it and update you once a month going forward to the end of the year. So there's still six months to go um, and I still think we could get some goals hit within those six months. So better late than never. I'm not going to go through these in any particular order. I'm just going to pick the first ones that come to hand. So the first one is my Guerlain, Mon Guerlain shower gel um, and I have marked that at the back so that was the intro update number one and that is where we are sitting now so I have made progress on this since the, the start of the project. My whole reason for putting this into the project is because I feel like I've got a bit of a sort of mental block around using this like because it's really expensive shower gel. I use a lot of expensive beauty products, you know, not obviously to say that you need to use expensive beauty products by any stretch of the imagination, but I have always kind of enjoyed luxury beauty and without getting into my whole troubled history with overconsumption, um, you know, that's meant I've got a lot of uh, kind of luxury beauty products and, you know, I know what my skin likes and whatever and I'm kind of happy to spend the money on certain products, etc. But I feel like shower gel is just, I think that's my line. I feel like at least if you buy a really expensive serum or even a moisturiser or whatever, it's staying on your skin. Or even like the perfume itself, you know, you get the fragrance for the whole day with most of them, um, depending on the longevity. But yeah, with the shower gel, it's like you're, you're literally washing it down the drain. So I do have a huge mental block around expensive shower gels, which means I need to learn that lesson and not get any more of them. And um, so that was why I put this in this project was to try and kind of force me to, to just get on with using it up because it, it will go off. It still smells, um, you know, like the Mongerland perfume. Um, which I do enjoy, it's not my favourite perfume oil, but I, I liked having the set and whatever. There is some progress, but I would still like to finish this within the project. The other reason that I had kind of put this in is because I have the flanker products. Well, this is more, this is the flanker product to the main products, but uh, in terms of this being the main product in the project, I have flanker products. The body lotion, so I'm ho hoping to also use that up within the lifespan of the project. I'm not marking the flanker products, I'm just kind of updating you to show you um, the difference on them. So that is where we are with the body lotion, so I'm hoping to also finish this up. And the other product that I had in the Mon Guerlain range was the perfume, which I did have some in at the start of the year. Um, and now I have actually finished this up. So this was the 30ml, so this is like a little small bottle. I do now have 100ml, so I still have the matching perfume to use because I feel like I would never use that shower gel. I think that was the problem is that I would never use the shower gel or the body lotion without using the perfume, but I would use the perfume without using either of the other two or I would use like the perfume and the body lotion without having naturally used the shower gel if it wasn't like within the project. Um, so again, that was partly why I put the shower gel in rather than the perfume. Um, but I have now finished this up. So I have this one and yeah, like I'm not expecting to finish this up within the project. I have a few other perfumes I really want to work on this year as well. 
and um, so yeah but I do still have the matching perfume to, to finish off on the days when I use the shower gel and the body lotion so never fear but I am very glad to have knocked this one out. The next product that I've got is this lip gloss. So this is the Free Spirit lip gloss from the Frozen 2 collection from Colourpop. Um, and I have made really good progress in this actually. There's still enough coming out that I'm not quite at the we must take out the stopper um, point yet. But I do think I'll be taking the stopper out. If I'm going to get back into using these products seriously and know that I'm going to be filming updates on them and stuff. Um, I think I'll probably, probably have the stopper out. Uh, by the next update and I might even have finished this by the next update so I will be very very pleased with that this has been um you know it's an easy colour to wear this one it's just kind of sort of nudie brown colour um so I've been able to wear this at work and stuff so it's been it's been a reasonably easy one to be able to work through Not quite so easy to work through has been the other lip gloss in the project. Um, so this is from the same collection. This one is called Mythic Journey and this is like a glittery one. It's not the most flattering on me. It's not one that I've been really wanting to wear like in work or anything like that because like I feel like glitter lips are a bit of a look and just work is maybe not quite the place for it but I go to work five days a week so really if I'm going to be working through products um, I need to kind of be wearing them at work because that's the majority of the week if I'm only going to wear something twice a week at the weekend. It's been a bit slower in this but I still do think there's good progress and um, it's definitely you know lots of windowing. I feel like if I take the other one back into work we'll probably finish it by the next month and if I wear this one you know like put it on at night around the house and whatever in place of lip balm I still think we'll get it used up within the project it's just been a little slower than the other one The next product that I've got is from Davines, it's the Liquid Spell Reinforcing Body Fine Fluid for Sensitised or Fine Hair, which I have fine hair. That is where we are on this one, so again we started here, um, my nails, I've, I've got two broken nails, so sorry about that, I am actually getting them done. I feel like every time I film a video, I'm like, I'm due to get my nails, I really need to like get my nails done and then film things that weekend to be like, oh look, my nails are, are nice for being on camera, so yeah. I've also got mascara, I've got, I'm wearing a mascara that I opened yesterday and it's not so smudgy that I'm like, we're just not persevering with this, but it's quite smudgy and I've got it on my finger from wiping my under eyes earlier. Sorry about my nails was the start of that tangent. I don't love this but I'm glad I put it in because I feel like the thing I've really been realising more and more and more recently is for somebody who has a lot of hair products I don't like a lot of products in my hair. I'll maybe put a bit of oil and a bit of kind of volumising something into my hair when I'm blow drying it. I only wash my hair once a week so I'm not blow drying it very often. So products like this that are for designed for use in wet hair I'm not kind of optimising the times to be able to use these if I can only use them once a week and then if I'm using this I don't want to use any other products because I don't like product build up. Um, so yeah, it's definitely made me kind of, I'm, I'm really glad I put it in because it's definitely made me take note of 
I feel like in my head I was always like oh you work through hair stuff and it doesn't go off quite the same way and um, as like you know maybe skincare or makeup would um, and I kind of it probably still knew I had too much hair care. I kind of didn't think they were as much of a problem because they were certainly when I first went into makeup rehab and like you know did my inventory and and all of that jazz. Makeup was a really big problem and then I had a lot of skincare and hair care was always the sort, sort of small you know sort of forgotten younger sibling and I was like you're not the problematic child and um, but, but the thing is although it started really small it's really not condensed down in the way that over the past like four or five years yeah 2018 19 20 20 yeah I'm in my fifth year of kind of makeup rehab and trying to sort of change my consumer behaviors and my usage behaviors and things and um, and I've you know I've definitely noticed skincare you know getting down and makeup not quite so much but you know get, moving down and hair care kind of stays a bit stagnant because it takes me so long to use up these products so I am very glad that I put it in because I feel like if I hadn't put it in you know I would definitely still have this at the end of the year whereas I'm, I'm hopeful that I can finish this before the end of the year but yeah I feel like I'm that's the lesson I've learned is I don't like a lot of product in my hair so I don't move through hair care products and I need to stop buying them. Another thing I'm not really moving through is my NARS foundation so you'll be able to see better in the cutaway than me trying to show you here but there are three markings on it and you know I've had a fairly steady use but bearing in mind the the kind of time lapse between the first two markings and the third which you can see you know quite clearly here these three are very much close together. So I need to, again, probably take this into work and start using it a bit more regularly to, to move through it. Because I have set a quantity goal of wanting to use up 300 products this year, when I've been wearing foundation, I've been more opting into my sort of samples and minis um, because I want to try and move through those things and, and get them towards my 300. So yeah, I think this needs to go into work with me and start getting a bit more use. I'm still hopeful that if I take this into work it will be finished by the end of the project but it's definitely, definitely been one of the lower progress products. Another one that the progress is um, very minimal on and definitely needs to go into work with me is my hourglass blush so again if I take this into work start using it on a daily basis I do think I'll still finish this within the project or at least get you know really good progress on it within the project but I'm hoping six months is still enough time to, to finish up it's this pink one so it's not full I did have it in last year's project pan so you know I made good progress there so it's we're starting from a good place even though I've kind of abandoned it for the last few months we've got six months and hopefully I can still if not finish it, make a really good amount of progress on it, but hopefully finish it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm still, still keeping it as a finishing goal. And I had a highlight in this project as well. It is my Shantikai one. And I made reasonable progress on this, so this was kind of a bonus product as well. And yeah, I've kind of smoothed out the indent, so I, f I feel like I'm quite pleased with the way I'm working through this. It was brand new, I got it for Christmas last year, so it was starting, you know, completely full new product. So um, I don't really have an end goal, but I'm just glad to be making progress on it. Another one I've not really made much progress on, but I do think, again, if I get back into this, take these things into work, start using them, this I will get progress on, and it is my MAC concealer. I'll show you in the cutaways where we started, where we're at now, um, and in terms of where we're at now, kind of been working towards this edge here, so I'm hoping by the next update that I will have sort of cleared this edge here and be working on the product at the other side. And I, I'm definitely going to finish this within the project. I'm not worried about this one at all. I just, 
I've been kind of rotating through my concealers and I just need to focus on this one again and I will definitely get it knocked out. The other perfume in my project is my Chanel Le Lyon. I absolutely love this to the point I almost wish I hadn't put it in the project because I don't want to be without it and I think it's so much perfume that I really can't, I couldn't justify even asking for this for Christmas or anything again if I did finish it, um, you know, by the end of this project, um, never mind going out and buying it depending on what I'm doing with my my buying behaviours next year, you know, but I do, I absolutely love it and I have made progress on it, so I'll show you in the cutaways again, obviously, so you can see, but we're now down below the label and a fairly significant amount. Um, you actually, it's one of those ones because it indents a wee bit more towards the bottom, you kind of see it a bit better if you turn it upside down, but yeah, I think we are working through this almost more quickly than I would like to be working through it. I say I've got other perfumes that I think are maybe actually closer to going off or whatever or that I'm just not quite as keen on that I think in the grand scheme of things I'd rather work on them and get them out of my my collection than work on this but I do absolutely love this so I do think it's going to keep going down and I probably could finish it within the project just through how much I want to wear it. It is so beautiful and I love it a lot. The penultimate product is my lipstick, so this is the Guerlain Rouge G number 3 lipstick. This is what it looks like and my goal is to just use it down to the Guerlain imprint which we are kind of just about on. Not quite there yet, still a little bit above it but I feel like I'll, I'll get down to that imprint within the project without too much bother. In terms of the cutaways in this, I sort of took a strange just like showing you a cutaway for the intro then thought that's ridiculous and I marked it in my bullet journal um, for the first update so that it was then you know kind of starting as that as if that was the intro mark um, but, and but I'm, I'm sorry I know this is like I sound like a broken record but um, I've been redecorating my room a whole load of stuff went up the loft and things have been coming in down and then going back up and whatever and I cannot find my bullet journal anywhere so hopefully I'll find it before the end of the project and we can mark it again and that's a bit more obvious than just me showing you cutaways of the lipstick but the main thing is regardless of the markings I am making progress on it so yeah I'm not worried about this one I think I will hit the goal of hitting the imprint. And the very last product that I just wanted to really quickly talk about is my eyeshadow that was in the project, which was this one here. It originally was in its palette, then I depotted it for the first update, but I used it and my eyes were quite irritated. My eczema all flared up and I wasn't sure if it was this or not. So I took a step back, used some other stuff, let them calm down, went back to this and it all flared up again. So I just wanted to keep it to show you it, but just to say I'm actually taking this out of the project and I'm just going to put it in the bin. It's obviously expired because it, it didn't used to irritate my eyes when I first got it, but it had started doing that. I thought about rolling something else in in its place, but I feel like at this point we've got six months to go and I'm actually really enjoying not doing a lot with my eyeshadow at the moment and wearing lipsticks not much point in me putting another eyeshadow in because I don't think we'd make enough progress for it to be exciting for you guys to watch and I don't want to put another lipstick in because I feel like I've already got a lipstick in and I'm really enjoying rotating through and just rediscovering most of my lipstick collection again after two years of face coverings so yeah, I'm just going to take this out and I'm not going to bother replacing it with anything. But those are all the products that are in my 2022 project pan. So 
Thank you for bearing with me during a very unplanned hiatus. I'm feeling quite excited to get back into this and try and use things up. So I will update you again in four weeks time and you know I'll maybe do it so that my first video of each, the first Sunday of each month I think ideally that video will be my project pan update and hopefully we'll hit some goals by the end of the year. So thank you for watching this one and I will see you in my next video. Bye!